Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit active and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the ZEP application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for, our, for the app to send the notifications to our watch. To do it, we can simply open the ZEP application, tap on profile, uh, let me go back, tap on profile, then select our Amazfit active from the list of devices, and here we can tap on notifications and reminders. Oh, my bad. Notifications and reminders. And then, for example, let's tap on app alerts. And as you can see, we have this yellow message at the top, which tells us that we have not allowed the required permissions for the notifications to work. And what we need to do is to tap on it, tap on OK, and then if it redirects you to this page, scroll down, tap on Zap, uh, enable the allow notification access, tap on allow, and go back to the app. And as you can see, the yellow message is gone, which means that we are allowed the required permissions. Now we can enable the app notifications by tapping on the switch, then tap on get it, okay. And once you enable the notifications, you can also uh, enable the option to notify you when the phone, is, phone screen is only turned off. So for example, you receive the notification on your phone and the screen is turned off on your phone, so it's locked you will see the notification on your watch. But if you're using your phone, uh, you won't receive the notification on your watch. If you, this, of course, that's when you enable this option. If, if this option is enabled, rather disabled, my bad, uh, you will receive the notifications on your watch anyway. So no matter if your screen is turned off or turned on. So depending, depending on what you like, you can enable or disable this option. Okay, you can also, enable and disable the notifications for specific apps. And that and how it works is, if you enable the notifications, for example, for Discord, and you receive the notifications from Discord on your phone, those notifications will be forwarded to your watch. But if you disable the notifications right here, they won't be forwarded to your watch. You will see them, see them only on your phone. So that's how it works. Enable the notifications for the apps you like, and once you're done, you can go back. Next, we have the incoming SMS. And here we can enable the notifications for the messages and you can tap on the switch to enable them. Sometimes you will need to allow some required permissions, but if you enable the notifications, you will see the pop-ups about the permissions and, and you will need to allow them basically. Okay, and once you're done, you should be able to receive the notifications. So we can send ourselves a message on Discord, just gibberish. As you can see, we got it on our watch. And we also got it on our rather on our phone and our watch, as you can see. Okay, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.